plan is just to have a good start and uh, it's going to be a tricky leg with very light winds, some transitions, but we, we are confident in our boat speed and our crew and our navigator. So we just have to, to think, to do what we think is uh, the best and uh, then the res results will, will say in the end, the results will not lie. So hopefully we'll be on the top. Because of the way the first leg played out, there's, there's a lot of teams left in this that that have definitely got a, got a shot at the, uh, at the top spot and I think this leg has basically has no waypoint so it's, uh, you just have to believe in your strategy and uh, execute that to the best of your ability and, and that's all you can do. Uh, recovery has gone well, uh, everybody has rested for like four days so that was plenty of time. Boat is ready to go, there wasn't much damage anyway, so uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just like a new start. Very important leg, the, the ranking is very tight at the top, as we have Axel uh, tied on points, sailing Poland on one point behind, and uh, the Austrians two points behind. So. For me, it's a leg where everyone can win. Very tricky to manage, because uh, uh, the, fleet, the fleet could uh, easily uh, split into a different direction uh, straight after the start. But it's more uh, a game of chess. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna have to sail well, do our thing, and then uh, try and manage the others when we can, but it, it may not be the easiest of things to do. Welcome to Alicante, Spain, for the start of leg three of the Ocean Race Europe. After already racing over 2,300 nautical miles, there is no clear leader. Lots of battles here, but for Murbury Foundation Racing Team, I mean, <laughs> how many boats have you got to keep your, your eye on, or is it just a case of our boat, our weather, and our plan? Good night. Go race, guys. Go race, everyone. Murbury Foundation Racing Team just happened to bear away, finding themselves too close to the line in the final seconds, but the red sails of Sailing Poland are out, and they are clear, and they have really made that perfect. But interestingly, the, you can see now, just on the left-hand side, Axel of Ocean Racing. So this is the main rival for Murpoi Foundation Racing Team. Obviously, they just focus on Axel of Ocean Racing, but they can't allow the others to get through. And right now, we are uh, just to lured of uh, Axel, Axel here. Uh, we just had a really big lift, so we are happy with the position we have. To lure and behind, which we have the Mexicans, and then uh, Amber sails straight behind. And then the uh, Polish and the Austrians are very far to lure. They, they didn't come the same way as we did. And then Childhood tried something close to the shore, so a bit of a split on the fleet, early stage of these legs, but uh, so far we're happy with uh, our position. We are very close to Palma. Palma is just ahead. So we are doing a bit of tourism. The tactic is to keep sailing with wind. We've got this little thermal wind and um, we're trying to use it as, as good as we can before it dies out in the night. So we've just been tacking, getting close to the land and then tacking again, trying to catch pollen. The situation is there's no wind. We're trying to get away from Mallorca and uh, wind is very, very light. So we uh, finally have some. It's been a big transition uh, today and yeah, we hopefully we can get away from it tonight. But it's very, very light and the outlook for the next few days is very, very slow as well. The thing is, as further 
we go like this, we, the lighter it gets. So we're just ex expecting the header to take and to start sailing uh, towards uh, Genova. We have sailing Poland 12 miles ahead. They managed to squeeze a bit last night and uh, the other boats are too lured around 20 miles. So there's a big gap between us. Let's hope that we can catch them. Tough day on board the boat today. Yeah, uh, we managed to get away uh, from uh, Mallorca and Minorca uh, with a Polish, although they were leading by uh, 10 miles, and managed to pull away from the rest of the fleet by almost you know, another 20 miles. So that's good, and we came to this transition zone here in the middle of the Mediterranean, and uh, the Polish uh, did three tacks and came out of it and sailed 10 knots away from us. And we stayed stuck in there for probably four hours uh, while the rest of the fleet was coming back up to us. And now we can see them behind us. So, uh, not a good day, but luck will turn and uh, it's still a long leg uh, to, uh, to Genoa. see a boat there but we don't know if it's uh, sailing Poland hopefully it is um, yeah and there Axel and they're a bit closer now yeah but uh, we are moving now so it's good we need to stay positive and focus on our speed to get that miles about 40 miles to the finish uh, the whole fleet is basically compressed uh, everyone can see each other again there's basically two options it's either try and go sort of on the straight line and basically get there but there's no really there's no forecast wind for that it's basically just try and get there with whatever you've got um, the routing the weather routing is quite extreme it basically says go 30 miles east which is more nearly as much as we have to go to the finish to then get wind from the east which seems a bit extreme maybe so we're gonna try and go maybe somewhere halfway and hopefully that works <laughs> it's not such an easy decision but we're not gonna go to the extreme but just try and position ourselves on the side we want to be and then you know this thing where you flip a coin and then you pick heads or tails in the air it's a bit like that huh? <laughs> let's see what hits are going first they are doing six knots to the 17 so 20 degrees of header we have to be ready to attack, I think, no? Ah, it's, uh, it's more uh, playing uh, the other boots than playing the weather. Uh, mixed feelings. It's good to feel that we are getting closer and closer to childhood. And, uh, but Genova is that way and we're heading that way, so... Uh, looks like it's much more pressure offshore, so I think we just need to cover a bit the fleet and try to take the most breeze out of the, the options available. We'll see. We are pointing already on course. Yeah, we are supposed. The thing that we are supposed to have no wind. Now, we are supposed to have three knots. So the routing wants to continue two or three hours on port, to try to get some wind, and then to tack. But we have already seven. Maybe. Twelve and a half miles to the finish. 
we still have some good breeze, about eight knots of wind, and uh, we're leading by uh, almost 10 miles. It's good, but it's not finished. We know uh, the end can be uh, very light and, uh, and difficult to get across, so we're uh, happy with what we've done, but we know it's not over yet. It's great to uh, get in uh, Italy, probably first place. We uh, decided to risk a bit and uh, yeah, it paid off. So it's awesome. come back <laughs> crazy crazy like it felt like two weeks of sailing and uh, yeah we fought hard uh, we knew that until the finish it wouldn't be over because Genoa is so complicated and uh, yeah we played in our favor yeah the crew was amazing we kept on fighting the whole way very calm and uh, managed to do it it's incredible <laughs> absolutely love it <laughs> 